Hey, hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Ice Day and Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at another amazing ship from the Steam Workshop. Now, here in front of us is a form of a space ambulance, yes. This is designed to transport casualties between planets, between systems, and it's been created by Infamous, and it belongs to the Alien Isolation series. Now, this ship really has some new, unique features that really do capture your eyes. So first of all, let's go down to the front right here. So we've got a cockpit attached to the front with a little connector right next to the docking port so you can see it's off center and you can dock the ship very quickly. On top of that, we've both got these connector pods on either side. So these multiple connection docks, perfect maybe for little ambulances that could go out from these areas. And as we work our way around, you can see we've got some pistons with some landing legs under there as well. Around the side, we've got ourselves another docking bay. Just look at the unique nature of this hull itself. So we're not just using angled blocks here, they've actually got some round blocks integrated and some half blocks into this section, just creating this really unique hull shape. Now, as we work our way a little bit further up, you'll notice we've got some recessed blast door blocks there, as well as this little docking port on top of a jump drive. A really cool little combination. Lots of docking ports on here, so I'm guessing that they're kind of going with a universal connection approach so it can connect to anything and they back casualties from it. So as we come along the side here, you'll notice the slope actually winds up, the hull gets wider in the center, and we've got these nacelle type pods. You can see we've got the hydrogen thrusters on the other side of them, blast door blocks there that are currently turned off. I'm guessing they're more for a detailing aspect. We've got the red part of the, some sort of engine or thruster compartment here, and we've got the thrust and atmospheric thrusters nicely tucked below there. Not too much detailing on the center area here below, but you can see we've got another really cool docking port into this little ambulance bay. Batteries underneath there as well, and as we wrap around the top, you can see we've got this rear extension that overhangs this rear docking port. Now what's really cool about this ambulance, it has this mobile sort of drop pod type med bay that can be quickly or rapidly deployed to a location to help casualties or just reinforce troops on the ground. So you can see we've got the idea here, we've got the doctor sort of desk who where various different life forms and people can come aboard, they can get checked, they can get healed back up and they can even get a, a quick rest in their little bed there if need be. And you can see we've got another access door to the side there. We'll, we'll go through these as we go, but the whole idea of this, this system can be locked down and protected for instance if you drop this into a hostile zone so let's actually go aboard here we'll spawn a character and you can get a little bit of a grips on the size of this thing as well as we move around here so as we enter through the airlock that is semi disconttached so there we go we fall back through the bottom because I'm not a very careful astronaut so we enter into this rear segment through the door so you can see we've got the section there that's where we need to get to Aaron's been a little bit unresponsive and now he's trapped there we go and we're free Okay, so now we're actually entering to the airlock of the main ship. And what's really nice about this particular craft, it's all been named. So we've got the critical care bay. Maybe you might want to put someone in there if they've got a particular virus and you need to get them off the ship pretty quickly. You just eject the whole pod out the back. We've got the sick ward over this way. We'll turn our lights off. We'll have a look in the sick ward. So in here, we've got this very quite compact quarters. Lots of people living in close quarters that are sick. That might not be a great idea, but you know, space and stuff. And then we've also got the oxygen access through here. Always good to keep your patients on a steady flow of oxygen to keep them alive or, or keep the pain away at least. So we've got the shower in this section here, so you can stand below this merge block and get yourself all cleaned up after tending some patients. A bit open here, there's like a desk to kind of watch the person in the shower that I'd be a little bit concerned about. We've got the dispensary through here. So this is a little bit of a door, I'm guessing, that people can come up to and you can kind of dispatch different things out as they go through this area. Let's have a little look. So we've got the car container up there as well. So we can have various medical supplies in that area. Really nice. And these that don't mock up, they're all been turned off. Let's keep working our way through the ship. So the ship's layout is actually quite confusing at this point. We've got the morgue through there. But that's the place you really don't want to end up in. But that's where you, you basically dump the bodies. You dump them in this area. I guess it would be refrigerated as well to an extent. We've got the operating theatre. Oh, God. Is that the is that the operating theatre? I'm hoping it's some sort of mechanical operating theatre where a robot comes down and, and does it. And it's not just in the open there. We've got the toilet on the other side of the operating theatre. Thanks to Keen, we have no door. So fluids from there might oh, it'd be a mess. It'd be a mess. Oh, God. Okay, we've got the docking on that side, and we've also got the flight deck here. So let's just pop the docking open just to show you what you've got. 
So a very simple docking port on that side with the merge block. No connectors in sight in that particular area, so we'll seal that up. And what I do like about these particular docks is this is a tip that you might want to use. is so people can't actually see into your ship. They've used this door as the outer airlock, and they've used this door as the inner airlock. Nice, simple idea. We've got the suit storage on the left there, and we can continue moving up to the flight deck as we come through this narrow corridor. We are greeted with the microwave, private toilet quarters, well, double the toilets. They're doing with more toilets today. So, so there's plenty of toilet facilities at the front here, as well as the kitchen itself. And then we've got access to the actual ship here. So we've got some of the cool alien isolation type screens up there. We've got this red control panel. Let's have a little bit of a maneuver of this guy. Oh, feels nice. It has a good, good bit of screen presence. I could imagine transporting some casualties between various locations with this guy. And it'll be able to go down on planet as well. Let's have a quick look at the controls. On the menu itself here so we've got the landing gears let's just de-accelerate slow ourselves down there isn't too much thrust slowing us down so that's going to of course be an issue over time so we can't really stop particularly fast and let's lower that piston down so the first piston here is lowering this pod down to sort of walkabout level i'm guessing so you can see that there we've not got anything extending down from the front we haven't got the landing legs sort of extending there we go, that rear pod could then be deployed, dropped, or just utilised, I'm guessing. So let's switch up onto the next menu. Of course, we've got the merge blocks to connect various different components. We've also got the timer pod, so let's just have a quick look. So this timer is the emergency system, so let's activate emergency systems. So you'll notice that some things start flashing. Yeah, this is how it gets all scary-like. We've got lights flashing on the outside. Let's just go for a quick perspective, if we can, before we've flown off. There we go, you've got these spinning lights on the outside, the two little rotors going around there, making some sort of whining noise as well. We can of course exit that if we need to. Let's go back through our kitchen and toilet and activate the next control panel. But let's just see if we press 4, it turns it off. Yeah, it turns it off, the alert goes off straight away. So we've got two menus plus the jump drives. Very nice, simple little setup and we've got the piston for that rear lowering area. A lovely little ship and it's really cool just to think of the idea of a space ambulance I've, I've not thought of anything like this myself and that's really why i wanted to feature it and just show its unique shape and design anyway make sure to check out the link to this ship in the description below and let me know what you'd like to see in the next spotlight thanks for watching and i will see you next time